Okay, any more questions before I start making some noises with it? Does anybody have any requests about what kind of sounds you would like to generate out of this? Or, or do we just start from somewhere? I would like to hear the filter. You'd like to hear the filter, okay, yeah. So, um, well, uh, well, normally with a filter, of course I was making some pretty rich sounds mm -hmm. on that video so we could make those, but, but uh, basically if we start with the basic saw wave, so... You hear that okay? It's not too loud on you. Bas that's, that's what the basic saw wave sounds like. If you, if you use the variable wave, you've got this voltage controlled waveform goes from saw to sine to pulse to square. You can voltage control. Well, if we just take the basic saw, put it into the filter, which is uh, uh, there's several inputs to the filter. This is the basic input to the filter, which is quite loud. Um, and we'll take what what out output would you like? Band, low, band, band. Okay, band pass. So, so that's you've got a gain control, so you can you can control the amount of damage done by the filter. With less gain, more gain. can use the automatic gain control input which means that it will compress whatever signal is coming in but of course there's, there's basically the signal is the same all the time so, so um, uh, well we're not hearing anything out of, oh well no it's because I chose the wrong one the gain automatic gain control this is the automatic gain control so if this was varying a lot in level then you would compress it And this is the cue, so that's with no cue. And that's a lot of cue. And then it's got this um, pulse input, so we can we can take something that will pulse. Take this, for example, is it's good for that. And we can pulse it. It's just resonating to the to the pulses coming in. sounds uh, because this this is actually this is actually an AD uh, right has rise and fall so if we take the regular output of this we can use this to sweep the filter oh, I'm sorry I'm now sweeping the uh, I'm sweeping the I was sweeping I'm <laughs> sweeping the um, the the cue of it rather than the sweeping it upwards so you lose gain as you go down not self oscillating because it's just just being pulsed so yes it's in a sense it's it's responding it's resonating to the pulse but I mean can, can it self oscillate um, yeah. 
Well, let's see now. Uh, well, of course, anything will self-oscillate if you plug the output into the input. Um, I don't think this is, uh, as such, designed to... Um, yeah, well, we can make it self-oscillate. Let's, let's make it self-oscillate if you want it to do that. Uh, so we'll take, uh, well, uh, uh, well, we'll take the man pass out and back into the, uh, well, that's probably not the Okay? Now it's self oscillating, definitely. to your question. Um, so, okay. But let's, before we, be, before we, uh, before we filter something, let's look at the way we can make, beef up the sounds so that make them even more rich. Uh, if you take a saw wave, oh, well, actually, let's take, just take a sine wave to start, because actually the sine wave is the best place to start if you want to make something richer, because you can basically move from the lowest richness to the highest richness. So if you put that into the first of the wave multipliers in here and take the output of the wave multiplier to the mixer okay so this this only has a couple of diodes in it so the amount of distortion it gives you is relatively small. If we use the voltage voltage output from here we can actually that's not that's that's, not, that's not. so that's about the maximum maximum richness you can get out of that but if we if we use the um, use the the envelope you can hear it changing in richness so that's very very mild and the next thing we can take is the second one, which is, and uh, do the same thing with that. Out. So this is the one that has only, has only, um, uh, odd harmonics. So what changed now compared to the upper module by more diodes? Okay. Yeah. And and then in between the diodes more transconductors amplifiers. Um, and then uh, we have two different inputs there actually, which is a, a bipolar input or a unipolar input. You see you can hear this kind of sonic difference there. Something funny happens in there. You hear it? Um, this is a unipolar input but a bipolar voltage. Um, And then you, something interesting happens here. Something interesting happens here if we use both of these at the same time. So if you take that output now and put it into the filter, then that could be possibly be interesting. Um, so 
Okay, so let's take a low pass. Um, let's make ourselves another little LFO out of this. Nice, slow. Sweep the filter a little bit. So now there's this phasing thing going on, that's going into the wave multiplier, plus the sweeping of the filter. Yeah. Okay, so so that's the that's the second wave wave multiplier. And then uh, if we listen to the output of the third wave multiplier, I'm lost now. Oh shit. So, third wave multiplier to the output. Uh, here you've got two outputs. You've got a, a, a bipolar and a unipolar output. So this is the basic sound with a, a sine wave input of the lowest. Again, we could basically pulse that with a Of course, we could try the same trick with these two oscillators. So, if you want to see what it, it doesn't actually get better when you use a saw, because basically it's less good. Let's try it. Try it with a pulse. Okay. Sound is good. And then you can do again the same thing with two inputs. basically the wave multiplier unit.